Reckless Ed. Hey everybody, this is Reckless Ed with a brand new episode of Trailer Trash, where we pick apart the latest and greatest trailers and find all the Easter eggs for you. I mean, who's freaking got time to dissect a movie trailer nowadays, right? Well, I mean, apparently I do. <laughs> Today's trailer is The X-Men Apocalypse Survival of the fittest. But first things first, potential spoilers here, probably not, but you know, maybe, who knows? So the movie starts out with Jean Grey being played by Sophie Turner, who some of you may recognize as being Sansa from the Game of Thrones, unless you don't watch that show, and then I guess you don't recognize her. Anyway, she's having dreams of apocalyptic visions and in the world kind of stuff. So this movie's gonna take place in the 1980s, so all your favorite characters are younger here. We got a younger Jean Grey, and a younger Nightcrawler, and a younger Cyclops, and a blah blah blah, everybody's freaking younger this time around, okay? We still have Professor X kicking it with his styling 1980s hairdo. Back then, the guys used more hairspray than the girls did. <laughs> Speaking of hairdos, this version of Storm is sporting her famous mohawk, which we have all been waiting to see for like freaking ever. We see Havoc from the X-Men First Class film talking with Professor X and Mariah McTaggart about the history of the main villain of the show, Apocalypse. Speaking of which, we have lots of shots of Apocalypse going around picking his four horsemen. In the comics, the character Apocalypse showed up in X-Factor number five in 1986. Right from the beginning, his big thing was always survival of the fittest. It wasn't until that crappy comic Cable number six that we found out his real name was In Sabanur, which is Egyptian for the first one. He also goes by High Lord and Forever Walker, Son of the Morning Fire, the first one, set. Huxtapichetapazpo, Sauro, Kalima, that's a good grief, this guy's got a lot of freaking names. So Apocalypse has a boatload of superpowers, such as being able to change the shape of his body, telekinesis, telepathy, technopathy, which basically means he can interface with machines and computers and stuff. He can shoot off energy blasts, and he has healing power that would make Wolverine freaking blush. Oh yeah, and he's also immortal. So, uh, you know, good luck trying to beat this guy. <laughs> Back at the end of the last film, Days of Future Past, we got our first shot of this guy without his super suit. Where is my super suit? He gets referred to in this trailer as the first mutant who was born over 5,000 years ago with the rise of the superpower Egypt. We get our first look at Jubilee as well as Beast and Mystique, played by Jennifer Lawrence of the Hunger Games craze, who's already said she ain't gonna do no more of these X-Men films. Then we get to Magneto, who literally got the crap beat out of him in the last film, and looks like he became a friggin' lumberjack or something crazy like that. So Apocalypse probably sees the potential for Magneto's power on his side and obviously heads to make him one of his horsemen, as well as Storm, Angel, and probably Psylocke here. Afterwards, the horsemen and Apocalypse go borrow Professor X, and Mystique gets together a small band of X-Men wannabes to go get him back, which looks like we have Mariah McTaggart, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Quicksilver, Beast, and Nightcrawler. The smartest thing I saw here is that it looks like their suits are made up of some form of battle armor now, which is a great idea, seeing as every single freaking one of these movies, these guys are getting the snot kicked out of them from everybody on planet Earth. We also get to see Cyclops Ray-Bans keeping back his superpower. Dope! Apocalypse is using his powers to grow super big and crush the crap out of Professor X. And then we get the money shot with Professor X in the bald head. Although it hasn't been revealed yet how he loses his hair, the going theory is that it's as a result of all the stress from the war against Apocalypse. We get a whole bunch of bong shots, which is always a blast. Cause heaven knows we just can't figure none of this text out unless we have a loud obnoxious sound effects making our ears bleed. <laughs> Eh, whatever. If you like this video, make sure to check out my Batman v Superman trailer breakdown to see what you might have missed, as well as Marvel's Phase 3 of movies coming out between now and 2020. <laughs> Both of those are some freaking gems. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Also hit the share button, especially the share button. I mean, I totally want to see your comments down below, and I love answering them, but if you show this to like your grandma and she shows it to her knitting club and they get all manner of excited to show it to the president of the hair club for men, who from what I hear just ain't the president, but he's also like a freaking client, then that means I'm gonna get all the bald people on board. Now the bald people are important because Professor X is gonna be bald in this one, so they're gonna be like, oh heck no, I gotta be watching this guy's video. And then of course I'm gonna be asking why they be talking all funny. <laughs> Freaking just hit the share button. Uh, you know, please, with sugar on top, and you know, you can have one of those cherries and and probably sprinkles, because I love sprinkles. Yes, yeah, definitely sprinkles. Sprinkles. <laughs>